Here we are at the Cowens Festival 2018. We've got a big turnout today of all the um, various members, both included in our chapter and with uh, those reenactors and settlers that help us out and come visit us each year. Uh, we're going to talk to some of the people here that uh, are participating with us so that we can see what their perspective is, why they're here, why they do what they do, and what makes them come back each year. I'm happy to be here today because uh, th this celebrates uh, uh, Callens and, and uh, Pennsylvania County's uh, colonial past. Uh, it's always remember. It's always important to remember the past so we can help better prepare for the future. One reason I think it is for our history. We really need to bring the history of the country out, and not just what you see in school books and things like that. It's really a, really gets into the depth of the, what it was all about. Uh, it's great just being part of it and knowing that your ancestors was here in that time. So it's very important to, uh, to uh, hear at events such as this, uh, which will draw attention to the buildings, plus preserve the, the grounds and the buildings. Uh, I really enjoy coming to Cowens because of so many children that come by, school kids that are really interested in the Revolutionary War, especially handling the, uh, the weapons and seeing how heavy they are. And, uh, Asking questions about those things. And, uh... Well, paired with historical interpretation, I usually take specifically Pennsylvania County type history and I, I put them into drawings and I try to pair that with any type of uh, local historic figures or buildings. And then I just turn them into artwork, and I sell prints of them, and I sell cards of them, and I just try to, some of the buildings, I try to reimagine them the way they would have been, uh, such as the clerk's office, which is here today. I portray a 18th century seamstress slash actually tailor. I just recently found out that I'm actually a tailor. A seamstress would be somebody that would assemble parts where a tailor would design, make, and finish the product. And that, so I do 18th century reproduction clothing. And that, because somebody's got to be able to make it, you can't walk into the local store and buy it nowadays. And that, so, and it, I love sewing, so it kind of fell into a niche. Um, I do scriptural work. I'm an artist with, I uh, use Calhorn as my medium. I take it and do a lot of the filing and engraving on it. Um, these are powder horns, there's cups, there's uh, salt and pepper shakers, spice, um, and combs. Anything that can be made out of Calhorn from the 18th century, that's my art, that's what I like to do. This, this event is is probably one of my uh, favorite as far as being able to get out here and give the, uh, the, the patrons a little bit of hands-on experience about what we do um, and history of the 18th century. It allows the kids to also come and just touch the horns, pick them up, uh, look at them, feel what, how rough, feel the smooth textures, and, and sort of get a really overall of what we would have had to go through or what they would have had to experience as a child back in the 18th century. To be a member of the Sons of American Revolution is to really honor my uh, patriot ancestors that I had, even though I portray a British uh, soldier and a British uh, loyalist, uh, my ancestors were all uh, either in the Continental Army or, or uh, either the Virginia Militia or the North Carolina Militia, and it uh, gives me a chance to honor uh, my heritage through them uh, in, in that respect. Uh, at the same time, uh, being able to uh, do an impression of uh, explain the British side of the uh, as well. Uh, of course, I've, I'm a member of the Sons of the American Revolution, and our, our purposes are to remember the past, to educate, promote patriotic activities, and to further 
the knowledge of the American principles and American documents, such as the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and those type, type articles. God save the King.